The purpose of this video is to show the three main ways to run an analysis within Adapt Builder. You can run an analysis on a single floor at a time in single level mode. You can run an analysis on the entire building at once using multi-level mode. And you can reapply reactions from the multi-level analysis while within single level mode. As an example, here we have a multi-story model. And this building could be conventionally reinforced, post-tensioned, or a combination of the two. It doesn't matter. All of this still applies. So we'll start with single level mode. And to begin, I'm going to go up here to my level manager toolbar and select the icon for single level mode. And now you can see the program is only showing one level at a time, indicating that we're in single level. Now I'll use the drop down to go to level P1, which is the level that I want to analyze. And before I can analyze a level, I first have to mesh the slab, which I can do using mesh generation here. And I'll just use the defaults. And what this does is it breaks up the slab into finite elements, which the analysis can use to come up with a solution. So once the mesh cells are created, you'll see them show up on plan. And if you want them to go away, you can turn them off using this icon up here. All right, so now we're ready to analyze this slab. So I can go to execute analysis, and there's a lot of information on this page, a lot of different options. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but if you wanna know more, all you have to do is press F1 on your keyboard while within Builder on this window, and it'll pop up to our help file page um, explaining everything on this window. So then I can click OK to run the analysis. And you'll see there's some uh, dialog boxes that show up, and basically it's telling you the progress of the analysis. So it'll go through things such as performing structural validation, running the analysis, and then finally creating the solution files. And when the analysis is finished, this will pop up um, asking us if we want to save the solution and we can click yes. And now there's results available to view for our analysis. So now we can go to multi-level analysis, which I'll go back up here to my level manager toolbar and click on multi-level mode. And now we're back in multi-level, which you can see because we're viewing the entire model at once. And similar to single level, we have to mesh the slabs first, but I've already done that. So we can go straight to execute analysis. And here you can see there's a few different options that are available. Again, you can look up more information on this in our help file, but I'm gonna click okay to run the analysis here. So again, it'll show those same progress messages. However, there's gonna be a a few more of them because there's a bunch of different levels that it has to validate the structure on. And keep in mind that because there's so many different levels and this creates more mesh cells, that the analysis is going to take longer to run than it does in single level mode. An advantage of running in multi-level mode is the consideration of building loads. And building loads are loads which are applied to the entire model at once. Typically these are things like wind and seismic. Uh, which when running in single level mode are not considered because they're applied to every level at the same time and not just a single level. Multi-level analysis can also be used to get analysis results for designing transfer slabs as it'll take into account the forces transferring through each of the levels. When finished, the following window will pop up, which again, we can click yes, and now we've run a multi-level analysis. The third type of analysis that can be run now that we have run a multi-level analysis and gotten reactions from our multi-level analysis is we can now go back to single level and reapply reactions from multi-level in single level. This can be especially helpful for designing things like transfer slabs. So I'm gonna go to my transfer slab first by going back up here into my toolbar and clicking on single level mode. And my transfer slab is level two which we can see here, we have a beam with a column transferring out on top of it. So as an example, let's say that my loading has changed on my transfer slab only. The rest of the building stayed the same, but maybe this level got a little bit heavier. So I don't need to run a full multi-level analysis again, and that can take a while. 
So instead, what I can do to expedite the process is to run a single level analysis on this level while considering the reactions at the columns and walls from my global or multi-level analysis. So this is done very similarly to running a single level analysis. I can go to execute analysis. And over here, I have now some options to include global analysis results. So if I want to include the reactions from my earthquake loads, I can choose include lateral reactions. And you can see that those load cases show up down here. I could also include gravity loads using include load takedown. And again, all I'm going to do is press OK. And now the analysis will run. And even though this is a single level analysis, we're now including those global reactions. So it's going to have the speed of a single level analysis, but it will include all the forces from up above as well. And then we can click yes to save the solution. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any further questions, please visit our website at risa.com or reach out to us in support at adaptsupport at risa.com. Thank you.